as firefighters battle these fast-moving flames. I couldn't even get down fast enough. Katie Rice raced to her family's ranch in Miami, Texas. And everybody's so busy up here right now. Rice wants you to see what was lost. Everything is burned uh, behind us. What was knee-high grass days ago, now scorched earth. I don't know if you can see, the, the terrain right here is pretty rough. She spent all afternoon searching for cattle that survived. And what we do find, trying to make sure that they are paired up with their babies. Ranching has been her family's livelihood for generations. What they built was quickly threatened. My dad, he the way he described it is that he probably could not have driven a vehicle across the pasture as fast as the fire was moving. Thankfully, her family's safe. Her parents' home still standing, but not everyone can say the same. They lost everything, lost their livestock. The smokehouse fire, forcing evacuations and triggering power outages. It's it's quite, quite large. Adam Turner is with Texas A&M Forest Service. How did this fire get so large? These really high winds combined with low humidities just led to fire pushing across this landscape so very quickly. Fire departments across North Texas have sent crews up north to fight the flames. Everybody wants to help and and that's such a such a good feeling. She, along with the area's tight knit ranching community, are grateful. People are tough up here. The, this kind of country makes you tough and and they're going to get through it. Amid devastation, she finds hope. For WFAA, I'm Adriana